Well, 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 we're back again for another episode of First Touch. Of course, it's me, Dazzler, and joined with me is Roll Diz and T Bates. And we had a very, very exciting weekend last weekend for uh, with the RLCS. And, you know, we're going to break it down. But before that, you know, gentlemen, good afternoon. How you doing? How's everybody doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Lots of Rocket League, the game we love, you feel me? A lot to talk about. We got two big mouths here with me. I got the bat and Bates. How you doing, Bates? You did that pretty smooth though. I don't know how you looked, how you knew how to look which way, but uh, right, he really hey, that, hey, that that was, right. you got that down. Like you, you got asked that question last week, and you're like, you just got it already. I'm natural right here. All I'm saying is that I hope everybody had a great, fantastic weekend watching the all the RLCS action that Sonics has provided all of us. And if y'all got a phone and and perhaps maybe even some social media, you might have seen a little bit of a little bit of heat happening on the timeline. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. We might get into that a little bit later. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just another, another great day. It is a good day. It is a fine Tuesday. Uh, it's two p.m. Uh, Central Time over here. Twelve p.m. Pacific. Uh, but three you know p.m. Eastern. At three p.m. Eastern. Uh, you know what Eastern. I want to do? I w- I wish we had a birthday calendar for the weeks because uh, I, I do. I do, I'm going to do some happy birthdays today though. We have uh, Tiger, Dementia, and Zamwe. It's everyone's birthday. Zamwe turned twenty one. Dementia turned twenty two. And Tiger turning seventeen. These are all posted on Wikipedia, by the way. If you guys didn't know, so happy, happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah, I got to get a I got to get a calendar and just have everybody put their birthdays in. Just have something specifically for that, so we can do a weekly type of thing. But uh, yeah, let's let's jump right into it, right? We have uh, the RLCS recap. Um, we're going to jump into all of the other regions that happen. We have the MENA, APAC South, and OCE regional ones happening over the course of the weekend, and it was actually pretty exciting. We have some of the graphics to show you guys. If you didn't watch, I don't know what you were doing. Some of them were going on at the same time as the RLCS. You got to use that squad mode button. But this is the APAC South results here. Alki GGs ended up just straight up dominating. I think T base wasn't there. How many games did they drop over the they course dropped, of this? I believe one game the whole entire and uh, throughout the whole entire tournament, which includes the Swiss and then also the single nation bracket. I believe they only dropped one game, and that was that one game in that end against uh, Azura on that back end. But other than that, I think they just actually handled business. I uh, they're pretty they're pretty nice. They're they're pretty good as we're looking at this at the leaderboards right here. Um, bro, what's your, what's your thoughts on this new region that we have been blessed to watch? I mean, it looks like we have another case of uh, BDS from last season, huh? Just a, oh, just a single team <laughs> dominating or ground zero from OC. You know, all the minor regions, you know, they, they just seem to have one Uh-oh. team that just dominates. And uh, looks like nothing's changing. So NA, the only closely contested region so far. Uh, so this far. Weekend, maybe this weekend, you know. I don't know. Maybe EU will surprise us, huh? Potentially, as you see, Naden score a nice shot right there. That um, it's really nice seeing these regions already be solid, in my opinion. It, yeah. it is a nice shot. I mean, yeah. there is no backboard defense. It is, it is what it is. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a nice shot, regardless of the of the situation. And you got you got to be able to make it. You got to have the skill and able to produce. Pre flip goal right there, kind of smooth by Sipso right there. No clean, no clean with it. Show that's me a little a, something. Yeah, and that's on Atelier as well, which I don't think I thought going into it. Probably a lot of people probably would have picked a Tilly A just based off a name alone, but uh, they, 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 they got Apex Off has a couple of nice and solid teams that we really have to look be on the lookout for. Yeah, Apex North will happen this next weekend. And keep in mind, you're gonna want to watch both because when it comes down to major time, there's only gonna be one Apex team that's gonna make it through. So that's why that's kind of important to you know keep keep your eyes on it stuff like that. Uh, in that OCE region though, your boy CJ CJ actually did something. He beat Ground Zero. See, I feel like. Last week, when we were, you know, talking about him losing a lot, I feel like it enabled him. And I, feel, <laughs> and I feel like after that, you know, he was like, you know what, I gotta, I gotta take down the ground zero. But uh, OCE, yeah, Renegades are the regional champions there. And of course, uh, for Middle East, we have, or the MENA region, I'm sorry, we have Sanrai Gaming uh, taking that first place spot. Uh, before we jump to that, any, any, anybody got anything to say about it? my boy uh, CJ CJ and his, his victory? CJ! We're proud of you over here at First Touch, CJ. You know, the list, they're not your strong suit. But you showed up, you pulled, and you claimed on a team that, I don't know, uh, can somebody remind me where CJ put his team in, in resemblance to Ground Zero on the list of uh, 
last week? Was it? What did he put his team over? He didn't zero? put his team on there. He didn't put yeah, his team on there at all. No, nah, he didn't put his team on there. So no He's faith in yourself. Five. And then you just do what you did to ground zero this week, huh, CJ? That's crazy, bro. Averaging over two goals a game. I see you, CJ. You've been grinding. You've been working. You know, I had faith in you. I put you in the the top uh top sixteen for for land. I said you were gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? So. I had a little bit of faith in you, CJ. Uh, more faith than you had in yourself. But you know, Bates, what do you have? What do you have to comment on uh, on this performance by Renegades? Uh, he did a they did a well, a great job, and I'll have some more specifics about them in a little bit. Oh yeah. right, they we really are gonna did. jump. We're gonna jump into that uh, a lot a lot later. But before that, we got to go into uh, the Middle East, North Africa region with San Rock Gaming. This is definitely one we want to hit on too. Of, of course. Sure you know, I do. I, I, I love San Rock. I uh, had them at my top eight to make it all the way on our, our way too early predictions thing, but they dominated this first uh, MENA region. And it, it was honestly something that I felt like everybody kind of expected to see, right? Demi Falcons going through on that Swiss stage, getting into the final bracket. I talked to Johnny Boy himself, and he said anybody in that top four could have took the whole thing. But San Rock ended up just kind of showing out, right? Is that they, saying much though? Anybody in the top four could have taken the whole thing. I, I, I just, I just believe that just in saying that, you're just acknowledging that everybody has a decent amount of skill. But we all know that there's one team that's just better than all the rest of them. Oh, and it's SRG. Like once we get to the clips, you guys, you guys are gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Because there's one specific goal in, in particular that's just amazing to me. But at the same time, I do think that. The other teams in the region, specifically those top three, sleep is pretty solid, but I, I really do think those top three are a little bit better than the rest. I, mean, yeah. I, don't have, I don't have to agree. Like, I think expectedly SRG was going to win this first regional for uh, Mina. And uh, again, T Base is, he's like, reflect, or he, he's, he's giving y'all what y'all. A little taste right here. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is exactly what I wanted to see. Look at this. Mm. Uh -huh. Nobody's saving that. My goodness. Oh, Khaled. <laughs> oh, I'm the dominance of the region. Slow gang, you really are. Because oh, Khaled's going to dust you to these balls every time. Gets the flip reset on that goal. Top shelf as well. Another one. Look at Sandrock. They're just dominating all over the field. Ooh, there oh, go that boy. God. There go that boy. He, he came off the screen here, but you gotta Chat. wait to see the whole thing to see what he actually does. Yeah. Oh, the ceiling! Smooth with it yeah. too! Nobody's saving that. That, 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 trans, that transcends any region. And then, in front of Clutch, for four, and able to win the regional event number one for Mina. <laughs> and again. Is that boy just Clutch? It's just Clutch. One, two, Kyle over the middle. Not as fast as me. I'm, you're not as fast as me either. I'm Clutch now. My it's just that simple. It's just that simple. They're that great. They're that great. And I just, I see this type of domination happening throughout the whole entire time. This region exists, in my opinion. At least for the first, mm, first split, I would say. And then mm. maybe the second split, it'll get a little bit more uh, balanced. But as long as they bring up the A game, I don't see anybody being as good as them. They're just too talented. Yeah, I agree. Right now, it just looks like they are just in the driver's seat for the MENA region. They're sitting at first place right now, which we all know how important that is. You only get three regionals until uh, land for Sweden. So they are looking like they're going to be that one Mina team, which is exactly, I think, the direction that most of us were hoping for. And if they play like this in their own region, imagine how they're going to play at a live event. This is, this is really nice to see from them. You know, one thing I, I do hope happens, and, and then a huge adjustment, you know, I... I'm gonna give you a little tips and secret. Right? T Base mentioned it earlier for the uh, for the APAC uh, clips we had. Please, somebody get on the backboard. You can't you can't allow that to happen <laughs> constantly. Like all three clips is just no one on the backboard. <laughs> we you gotta get some backboard defense. The kind of shot kind of happened kind of fast though, and it wasn't yeah, really backboard. Them. It was more lower. But the, but the next the next two, hmm, maybe not third one. The second the second the second one, I think the defense could have been a little bit more a little bit better, but. Even then, even then, it's just uh, Apex style shots in comparison to SRG shots right there. I mean, it's just different class, even even in that moment. So, uh, I mean, I, I can see, I can, I can see what you're saying though. I definitely need that backward defense, <laughs> a one for all these regions, and that's yeah. what's gonna be the main difference coming into these. If if they are to make the major, <laughs> um, that's mm -hmm. what gonna be the main difference. They see um, the defense is going to be a little bit more stout, and they're not gonna have that ability to have all that time to 
utilize their mechanics, as we can see, uh, which are better than a lot of people. I mean, they look like they're, you know, making their, their mark, right? Uh, the way that they are right now in terms of the point standings puts them in a great spot for the rest of the split. So we'll just see. We'll just see. But I guess that leads us to our next subtopic, which is the expectations for the season for St. Rock Gaming. Uh, Baze, you alluded to it a little bit earlier, saying, you know, you see them doing well in this regional or this split, but then the next split, you see things might, maybe might get a little bit closer than that. Uh, do you want to, like, expand on that for, like, the rest of the scene? Do you think that they will actually end up just completely owning the region? Are we going to see BDS in the form of St. Rock Gaming from Middle East, or is it much closer than we think? Uh, it's... I, I I believe Falcons and the Ultimates they have they have good players. Uh, like AMS, AMS on Ultimates, it was a tight series. Like we just saw in overtime, Ahmed had to hit a shot like that in order to win the series and finish them off. Otherwise, Ultimates could take in a game. Who can know? Who knows how that could have uh, all played out? But I I do believe that they're just better initially, in my opinion, and, and they uh, definitely have had. They really have something to play for now because I know for a while they were truly dominating everybody, especially when they had Senzo. And then they kind of started uh, going back and forth with some of these teams in, in the Middle Eastern region in specific in terms of their own tournaments. And I can kind of contribute that to a little bit of lack of motivation in a way. But now this is like the big boy stage. And th this is something they've been waiting to play on and play for for probably the last two, three years, if I had to imagine putting myself in their shoes. And if that's the case, then they want it, they want it a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more motivated. And I also believe that they are just simply more skilled and also have more experience than, than some of these other teams. I mean, yeah. if, I, if I had to put my inputs on it, it's the same as T-Base. I'm going to back it up. I think SRG is going to, honestly, if they might struggle after this first regional, after the first little bit of success that they had, it's gonna it's gonna wash away super quickly just because the team is on a grind now. They have something to play for. Exactly what T Bates was saying. Uh, you don't want to miss out on a major, and you definitely don't want to miss out on Worlds this season. Everybody's trying to get to land. That's the that's the goal of the season. I think SRG is they're gonna do everything in their power to make sure that they are the dominant team in this region. This right, season. and then I, really the only way I see them like kind of like changing the way that their style works is if they get humbled at at land and they forget their own identity i think it's very important for them if they make the major to come in and play their own game and of course you still you're gonna have to adapt a little bit and change some rotational uh maybe maybe uh instead of cutting it really fast you might have to play a little bit more defensive maybe need to preserve the hundred a little bit more maybe need to play more backboard defense um no cross field passes stuff along those lines in order to try to compete with the best of the best because eu na oc and, yeah. of course, and of course, Sam, more, uh, more well-rounded games and definitely have more experience. But as long as they play their own game and they adapt and they do well at those land, at the, at the first land in particular, I, I could actually see them getting that top eight spot just because just they're just so talented, as we just saw. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are talented. And of course, you know, like I said, I had them in my top eight. I think that they will be able to make worlds this season. Yeah, just by a little little sliver of a margin. But I think in terms of Middle East, like this is my team that I, I would rep for that. But uh yeah, I mean you you bring up a good point. For me, I think Sandrock right now they have their they have their flow, they have their identity, and they gotta mm -hmm. kinda of course you're gonna have to make adjustments because you are gonna be playing against different regions who have their own play styles. But if you forget that and you lose that then that's why right. i see them falling off you're right because, you know a lot we've, we've seen that happen with so many teams before but they just kind of feel like they hit a wall and then they start doing these unnecessary changes that end up hindering a team more than hurting the team but right, right. now they don't have to worry about that they're looking good, they're looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're not thinking about any of that right now nope. <laughs> not thinking about Beating it people and uh, use the speed of mechanics and hey it'll get you the dub too so yeah just keep doing what you're doing somebody who else who needs to listen to that Did he freeze? Did he die? Oh, oh he, he did die. Wait, I, was, yo, I thought he was on the biggest pause. For the... <laughs> I thought he was playing the it over. Where'd you go? The, the Bobberman. Oh, well. Okay, yeah, well, geez. anyways, all right. So um, we're just going to move on now. Bro, I know you're talking about our boy CJ, CJ, and the Renegades. Well, they, of course, did win their own regional event, which is kind of surprising. And uh, since I don't think anybody expected them to win that, including maybe even CJ himself. And as we uh, transition over to that topic here, I think we I think we have 
the bracket maybe for the people for the people to see how they uh, actually end up coming up coming on top oh, okay no renegade bracket but um yeah let's roll let's roll the clip hmm. renegades rocket league and roll i just want to i just want to ask you in particular see you, you were praising cj <sighs> That's a nice shot. You, you were praising CJ and saying you're proud of him. But see me, the reason I didn't comment on it earlier is that I'm trying to chalk it up as a fluke. Oh my goodness. You know why? Because CJ was on this show last week. And he could have hyped himself up, but he didn't. That's true. He hyped up ground zero. Oh. So is that CJ CJ being humble? Or is that CJ CJ... Realizing that he's not as good as them. And I'm a little bit confused Ooh. by that. Wait, 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 bit... wait. You're, you're missing out uh, another or base. Or, what? or what? he's trying to get in Ground Zero's head and make him. He, he, he wants to give them their respect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, in front of so many people, he's just like, you know, you guys are the team. You guys are the team. And then Ground Zero has this false confidence against him. And then he comes out and he just slaps him. Like, yeah, oh, you you maybe so. And then, and then that would help out his narrative too. Cause they'd be like, oh, well, Ground Zero, that's great. Oh, here come Renegades. He's just like, I'm better. <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> I couldn't say it out loud because we didn't have the results, but now y'all know I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, 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 that, maybe that's what it was. And if, that, if that's the case, then. Oh, look who's back. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But uh, yeah, I'm here now. Uh, so, what were y'all talking about? We we're talking about renegades. We, we had we had a nice, uh, inter interesting dialect here and uh, discussion about. Mm. I don't know why he's dialect. I don't know if that's the right word. Somebody in chat, you can flame if you want to. Um, we we're having this nice discussion. I was saying that maybe CJ CJ and renegades winning was a fluke because he wasn't on the stream stating that he was better than them. He was always hyping up Ground Zero, mm -hmm. and I, so I attributed it to a fluke or he just uh, admitting that Ground Zero was better. But then Raul brought up an excellent other or that I didn't think about. Or he was just hyping up uh, hyping up Ground Zero so, so much and get in their head so that they have the pressure on them and then Renegades come out of nowhere and just start beating them. And then through that, Renegades end up, when people start talking about Renegades, when I'm like, Ground Zero, they really have 5,400, 5,400 RCS X points. Oh my gosh, they're just supposed to dominate the region. But all of a sudden, Renegades are here. Yeah. So, Maybe. Hmm. Because I feel like it could have been like a misdirection. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, Okay, we're gonna hype up Reddit. We're gonna hype up Ground Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing so good. They're doing so good. And then, boom, they beat them. And then now it's like, oh, you ain't expect that. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. You, you, oh, now I still got it. I was just, you know, I was just trying to hype it up. I, I didn't want to make it about me. You know, like how World <laughs> don't make it about ghosts. I'm not gonna talk about my team right now. You know what I mean? It's not, mm -hmm. it's not about me, but, you know, I'm gonna not... let the play do the talking. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, CJ. Oh, wait, we got some stats. d just DM me some stats. Yo, shout out to d for, for the stats. He just said it definitely wasn't a fluke. CJ CJ oh. owned everyone in the regional. He was first in total goals and goals per game. First again in total assists and assists per game. Wait, first again in total shots and shots per game. And then he was second in total score, score per game, second in demos, fifth in demos per game, fifth in shooting percentage, and fourth in goal participation. The only thing he wasn't in the top five statistically was saves, which is funny enough, he was last in saves per game. He was not on defense. <laughs> he was not. He said, I'm oh. scoring on you. <laughs> okay, okay. CJ, CJ had a pop-off event. d you know what stats we need? We need the stats in comparison to the last event he played. Oh, no. It could still be a oh, fluke. No. He could have a fluke weekend. Not the fluke. He's, he's throwing the Whoa. fluke narrative. Whoa. Oh, I need no. to see it again. CJ, CJ. I know he's you're going to watch this when you wake up in the morning. I need to see that. I need to see the type of production again, CJ, if I'm going to believe in you. Oh, gosh. What was the last he played in? Was it Champs? Yeah. Or maybe, yeah. Oh, no, oh, he didn't even make Champs. Remember? Because he lost oh, the... Wait, did it? Yeah. Wait. Wait, no. Yeah, no. I, oh. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, they, no, they lost to Drippay. And then Drippay oh. retired. Oh. Drippay said, hold on, I can beat you any easy, CJ. I'm going to retire for you. Make oh, it a little bit better. No. And actually give you a chance to make it. Actually giving you a chance. Because remember, CJ came on. Or maybe it was on a Johnny Boy stream. CJ, but ooh. CJ did say on a Johnny Boy stream, or maybe it was on here. I don't remember exactly where it was. That if Renegades ended up playing Ground Zero, it would have been a closer fight. 
Ooh. And so, so, so maybe Wait a Drape, second. Drape, Drape, is, Drape is just blessed the region because now there's more parity. Because Renegades couldn't get the, couldn't get to him because they were losing Drape and them boys. But now Drape's out the way, and CJ's got the clear path. <laughs> <laughs> And this is where CJ shines. He needs Kami to bring him there, or Kami to bring him there. My, my, excuse me, Kami, if I'm mispronouncing your name, DM me on Twitter and let me know. But <laughs> if oh, Kami's bringing him there, and CJ, CJ needs to carry. But once he's there, he turns into the man. It might be the case. But I need to see it again in regional event two before I can say Renegades are here to stay. No, that's fair. I, I think that's yeah. fair. That uh, say it's a fluke until you see it twice. You know, once you, CJ. Now you, we know you're gonna listen to this, right? Baze is he he down you. That's a doubter, right? Yeah. Underdog story, you gotta stay, you gotta stay in that, you know. Underdog shine, you know what I'm saying? Cause because you got no pressure on you, but now you have pressure because base loud mouth, he always gonna be on top of your head the rest of the season, CJ. Well, CJ, I need to see another two goals per game. Oh gosh. Okay, listen, listen. But <laughs> well, listen, first touch clearly has our opinion on the CJ CJ situation, but I want to know yours in the chat right now. Just do something very simple for me, chat. Press one if you think Renegades are gonna win at all. That's all I need to know. You just gotta, I just need a one in the chat. Hit one, hit enter if you think Renegades are gonna win at all. I'm looking at the chat right now, okay? No, you're not getting in, in, in Octane. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got the, oh my gosh. We got oh, a lot oh, of ones. Oh, oh, oh we got the Renegade fanboys. Oh, the God. Renegade fanboys. The ones. <laughs> CJ, CJ. He's smiling right now. I don't even think he's awake. Me he's smiling. He's smiling in his sleep. They like, all believe in me. <laughs> oh, we we know that we you know, know CJ's the, the man of the people. Yeah, <laughs> chat always loves CJ, bro. CJ be on the the bogus list, the most bogus list. He still wins because the, the chat just loves Unreal. CJ. <laughs> Unreal. 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 Okay. Okay. Chat, chat, we get it. Okay. You can <laughs> stop now. You love Renegades. Uh, we hope hashtag RNG win as well because they're looking good. Hey, if you guys support Renegades that much, why don't you guys go make sure to get their esports decal in the shop? They are one of a very two. few number of, oh, yeah, one of two OCE teams that have decals, them and Ground Zero. And we know it's one, you know, one over the weekend. So if you got a little pocket change, go ahead and get that because, you go know, support your boy CJ since you're all picking them in chat to win. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's good to see. It's good to see. It's good to see. So, gentlemen. That those were all the other regions. Uh, before we're we move all on, the minor regions, the minor regions, yes, yeah, so the minor regions. regions. Uh, how, how are we feeling overall in the minor regions? I think there's talent. There's 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 potential. I still don't think any of them are gonna do anything necessarily. I, I it would be in my opinion, in my estimation, the two teams that would probably do the most with damage to NA or EU would be SRG and Furia, and Sam Ooh. hasn't played yet. So. That's right. Sam has not played yet. So, if you guys are a little unaware what's going to happen this weekend, we'll talk about Europe a little bit later. But coming up really soon, APAC North is going to play. Sub Saharan Africa is going to play. And South America are going to play. If you go on Wikipedia, you can find links to all those streams to be able to watch that other half of competition. It's kind of crazy to think about it now because I'm thinking, I'm looking at it, and we have four RLCS regions streamed every weekend. Like, that's a lot of Rocket League. So mm -hmm. you can't ever say there's, there's nothing you want to watch. You want to be one of those guys who writes the the MLA four-paragraph essays on Reddit. You need to know your stuff. So be sure to check out all these other regions as well this weekend. Just letting you know. Just letting you know. Okay, <laughs> we're going to move on to uh, Collegiate Rocket League. A lot's going on in, in CRL. Oh, it's a lot happened, and a lot is happening over the course of this next week. First things first, I got to give a special shout out to Lemmy Kiwi. She has joined the CCAB stream. She's a commentator that I've known for over a year now. Uh, I first met her when I was doing an actual CRL event, uh, but I can't remember the name of it. Oh, that's bad. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the name of it. But after working with her, I was like, oh my goodness, we need to work more together. Oh, so, I know you're talking about that UMG you know, thing. Yeah, that one, the Collegiate Clash. There we go. I needed the name, UMG Collegiate Clash. There it is. And then after that, mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, you're great. And we need more people to see this. So then uh, I asked her to be on Codename Covert. And then since then, she's been doing other Rocket League streams, like uh, doing the Pittsburgh Knights grid stream, and then also being on Wave Dash as well. And now she's going to be part of the CCAP stream. So, of course, special shout out to Lemmy Kiwi for that. Um, 
and yeah i mean i don't know if you guys like have anything to say i, I don't know if you guys have really like worked with Kiwi personally so I'll just i have up. not but i am excited for her uh it's really it's really good to see um definitely more um women in the scene and stuff like that especially in terms of casting i love to see all that and uh just more just more diversity in general it's all it's great it's definitely inspirational in terms of kids growing up um and then uh just other people watching it brings a different perspective on the game or any or any game in particular that some people might not think about and so i'm always down for it and uh, i'm excited that she's on there yep congratulations and on all your hard work and can't wait to see you in more events all right that's right now speaking of uh crl we got some interesting matchups coming up this week the first one we have is ucf versus northwood that's astra versus northwood uh if, if <laughs> which one know. both of them he plays both of them he plays northwood blue and northwood white i think this week so. that's right plays both of them alex yeah. don't choke <laughs> it wouldn't be choking it's not choking alex if you beat him i'll be surprised that's <laughs> right yeah i just called you lafera La La james in the dms you better show up okay <laughs> uh yeah so the ucf knights is wait oh my goodness the roster thing is definitely soft around but i think it's like luke bambi asper and demon uh that roster goes through lots of changes over the course of the week but i'm pretty sure asper is definitely going to be playing there this week i'm just being honest i'm just, I'm just being honest, just being honest. <laughs> they have no team <laughs> uh, no i they looked at no the team. roster sheet right now and it says pending and i'm like okay yes. yeah that's, that's about yeah they have a lot of moving parts in the back, in the back yeah, a lot yeah. of moving parts more more moving parts than the machine some may say but they they they're trying to get it together. They're trying to get it together. Um, another and of course you guys know Northwood. Northwood has two teams: uh, Northwood White, which is T. Carell, Lion Blaze, and Noxus, and then Northwood Blue, which is Pirates, Buddy, and Hockey. So that's just Northwood's just stacked in the in the East right now. Um, another key matchup I think we are going to have is Bay State, which is Omar Neskoff and Falls against Seen Hall, which is Stokely. Who is Stokely playing with? Stokely is playing with where's the roster? There it is. Tone and Froze. Who actually aren't that bad Yeah, overall. they play ranked all the time. They'll yeah. be okay. Yeah, that'll actually be a pretty interesting one as well. And uh of course, and then UFC again, they play Stockton and then Mizzou play uh Columbia. I think Do hopefully, we have Crow, ho hopefully Crow will finish that finish the uh finish the job this time. I did pick them to be better, and they're already choking on me. <laughs> it's okay it's fine is what it is do we have a what i was gonna say do we have a standings graphic for the conferences oh uh -uh. oh wait oh mm. oh no we don't 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 yeah that's fine that being said i mean a lot of matches happen off stream anyway so that's kind of really tough to keep up with but if you do want to keep up with the cro matches you gotta tune in to the here, twitch.tv slash Rocket League, Wednesdays and Thursdays, uh, usually starting around 4.30 p.m. Pacific time with the pre-show. And then the matches start. Central and 7.30 Eastern, guys. There you go. There you go. And then the matches start uh, half an hour after that, pretty much. And there's also games on the CCA stream on Thursdays and Fridays. Yep. Usually we do, they do squash rooms with College Carball as well. But of course, be sure to check out College Carball again to see Lemon Kiwi and also to see all everybody else who's a part of the CCA broadcast as well as more CRL matches, especially those who want drops and especially those who try to get the channel points up so they can blow it all on BDS over the weekend. So uh, be sure to tune into those. Uh, before we head off on CRL, uh, how are how's everybody feeling about their predictions to kind of win win it all i know base you had crow show uh, oh in the west oh yeah, yeah. you know uh, the, the west is the, the west is okay it's uh i don't know <laughs> crow crow needs to be a little more clutch next time but uh, it's just looking like uta and unt still might run away with it again mizzou might be okay so maybe columbia college was the wrong decision we're gonna have to find out but i'm gonna stick with them and then the East, who, who I pick? I pick Bay State. No, I pick UCF. Okay, well, I pick UCF before these roster issues. So if their oh. roster doesn't come to full fruition, then I have the, I I'm giving myself the opportunity to switch. I I just leave you guys a CRO master sheet just in case. Uh, roll this. I mean, Northwood White are three zero in the East. Yeah, so. that's 
it's kind of expected though to be honest right um on the west side right who uta is that texas you picked the yeah. whole, whole entire state of texas yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, wait where is it at hold on let me see this the master sheet just okay. look at west league, league yeah, play okay, i got it yeah you picked the whole entire state of texas which i which i guess is okay <laughs> yeah no it's fine it should be it should be perfectly fine we got a red texas well UT UTA is, is huh ut is zero and three you have the last place team in the conference shout out to my boy but Jeff, the, but, no, okay him. wait 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 but i got like four or five other teams right so this dude got stock come on bro congratulations you have half the league play north texas i went with north texas they're at the top right now 3-0 uh ut arlington uh is uh in third place for you and then who are the other texas teams we had ut dallas 0-1 texas tech 0-1 longhorns 0-3 so you're losing a majority, but you got two that are at the top right now. Hey, all that matters is the top two, you know. Uh, Texas at the top, and that's all that matters. You know, we got Lion Blaze on the east side with his Northwood roster, and they're undefeated, as expected. You know, I I got nothing to say. They Keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Be sure to tune in to some CRL action over the course of this week and make sure to follow us so you can follow up on this when we talk about it uh we're gonna move on to what happened this weekend in north america right we had the in north american open that's what it's called north american open happening over the course of this weekend and from the start from the very jump it was odd everything was odd we have uh, a graphic here of the swiss stage because already the upset city started happening some of the more predictable ones were DVS and Integrity, and we gave them congrats for making it, but they came out pretty early. Uh, but some losses there, I'm really kind of surprised. I'm looking at Rebellion, looking at Rogue. Uh, it wasn't... Uh, some of Somebody helped me. What happened? I mean... Sheesh. Rogue and Shopify. Shopify looked completely lost this weekend. I don't know what's going on. It must... It has to be something like mentality or team oriented so, something's going on with the roster right like th this is nothing that we've seen from shopify all last season they looked like they were going to secure an actual spot in top six last season going into going into champs and now they're struggling against everybody At literally everybody they were one of the wor uh, worst teams in this this first event and then you got uh the rogue rogue is another roster that a lot of people had high hopes for um, and again, I think players of these caliber, players of this caliber who have this much experience, there's only one thing that's going wrong, or they're, 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 there's a lot of things that's going wrong, but the biggest thing is mentality and, and the amount of teamwork and, and team atmosphere. That that's, has to be the biggest problem on these two rosters, because the players with this skill, they, they should be able to compete against teams that they're expected to compete against, but they just can't do it, especially in this first, uh, this first event. I mean, I think Shopify just had an unfortunate weekend. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it at that. I, I just think I don't know. I would have to see him do bad, that poorly again, and I don't believe this could happen as because I believe this young man in particular is pretty good at Rocket League, and his two teammates are solid as well. So I, I'm not really going to put too much stock in them doing bad this time around. They might have really dampened their chances of making the. Mm major but it'll be okay <laughs> yeah, that, wait yeah. there's a flip topic here <laughs> exactly that's, that's the next question right they had a bad weekend but this is like things are different now right things are just really different in terms of how this all works there's no top 16 major and you know you can bounce back this is top five in north america go to the major and you want those major points because it leads into the world's conversation. Shopify, I think they bow out with 40 points. Is there, do they have any type of chance to make the major? That's the question that is open to the table. What do you think? I, I'll, I'll go first here. Short and sweet. No. You, okay. you play for four, you, you, it's short and sweet. No, no, you don't. You don't have a chance to make the first major. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I believe that they do have a chance. Um, is I there's just 
it's not a great chance it's not a something i would ever believe in um per se i would never just say they're gonna get first in this next event in a event i'm not seeing that in particular but there's there's a way i can see him finishing top four in the next event um maybe perhaps say you swap out an x set you swap out a v1 they lose out on points that 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 changes a couple of things maybe i can't say maybe anybody else does bad but, but those two teams in particular maybe ghost pops off if ghost almost made the um top top eight themselves so i mean there's, there's a couple moving parts. Rogue might play a little, little bit better. It's, uh, what they really lost was the ability to have the chance of making a major and controlling it themselves. Outside, outside, outside That's of it. outside of finishing like first. If they if they finish first or something like now, like it's it's um, an analogy would be how people slack off in school initially, and you do bad, and you do bad. You have your uh, midterms and all that, and you're just not doing that great. <laughs> and now you're sitting that. These maybe because you haven't been studying and stuff along those lines, and now you got to really bust it, and you have you have no room for error now. Because now you have to get the A in order to at least get the B, so you don't ruin your GPA, so you can get X job and stuff along those type of lines. So okay, it, it, yeah, it's just it's just out of their control at the moment. And Clarification: uh, Shopify have seventy points. Forty points were for Integrity and Team DVS. Shopify sitting at seventy, and then teams that finish ahead of them like Ghost and Torrent and Sonics mm-hmm. have one hundred ten. So yeah, so it, it's it's doable. Especially, especially with the fact that there's no distinction from the single elimination bracket between fifth or eighth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, my take on it, it, it's it's pretty much the same as you guys. Like, is there a chance? Yes. He said no. So it's well, not the said, same. Okay, right. <laughs> he said there no, chance? they're done. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's like, might as well not play. No. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro, the only the, 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 you have to like win it at this point. You not, have not to win it, or, bro. Well, the, okay. okay, what I okay before you go, the more before before you go, what I seen from them this week, this past weekend, is a lot to fix, and to do it with a week, right? It's it's definitely possible, one hundred percent is possible. I just don't see it happening, so that's why I said no. All right, go ahead, the more. Okay. Okay. okay, so for me, it's like. Like we said, the control part. You, there's so many things out of your hands in terms of the situation. You need to stop everybody who is above you from doing better than you in the next regional, which is over half the teams that are in a regional, right? You need to stop anybody from popping off. Uh, who was t- fifth or eighth? X set, G2, NV, true neutral. You need to make sure that they don't squeeze it to the top four, which is already filled with phase NRG space station in version one. I mean, now version one, that's a little different story. I don't know if version one make top four next uh, regional. They might not even make top eight. You don't they know. Might, if if they don't right, make top right. eight, that changes everything. If X doesn't make top eight, that changes everything. If Ghost makes top eight, that changes everything. There's lots of factors, a lot of variables to go into this. It is. It is. But do you see these teams really slowing down? I, I see. I, I, oh, there's a couple I teams see, I don't see yeah, slowing down. I see a couple, but the fact is there's too many that are above them right now. Like, Envy's above them. Envy, they don't. You think they're not going to make top four? They're not going to try to make top four? I think yeah. it would be a completely different conversation if Envy didn't troll in the Swiss stage and made uh had the V1 slash Envy part of the, or X part of the bracket, and then they made semifinals. If that was the case, I, I would say straight up no. But since that did happen, I think that there is kind of like a, some wiggle room there, but I think it's really tough. I you're saying really... you're saying X uh and V one having to play each other in the first round was like the biggest reason that yeah. there's still a chance because now yeah one hundred percent because it gave V one yeah. a lot of points yeah yeah it gave V one a lot of points and it and it also like took away fifty from Envy who probably mm-hmm. should be in that top four so for me it's just Definitely. like you yeah. know like that should be like we could we go around again and Shopify they're just going to have they have to have a weekend where they are top two. At least yep. they have to have a weekend where they're top two, uh, and then they have to have another weekend where they're at least top four or something like that. Like there's just they have to have two really strong. I can see regionals. two top fours and they can make it, bro. That would I'd, be crazy. It's so tough. You talk about top four. There's two. There's four teams. You you will. There's four teams I can I mean, name right now that four? you. How many points is top four? Uh, mm, it's like a hundred. Two hundred. Uh, two two hundred. So yeah. they so they have seventy right now. They'd be at four seventy. It'd be a another one. And they made they, two top fours? Oh, if they made two top yeah, you're right. You're right. It'd be a four seventy. 
Bro, there's four teams you could. That that's all in the swing of what happens in Swiss and things like have even, to go their their way. Yeah, even then, like let's say Envy plays fifth or eighth. Wait, actually, let me make sure that maps right before I even bring this up. Yeah, say 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 whatever to play uh Envy again, and then they. Yeah. They have, okay. How much? Envy, how many points does Envy have? Envy had one fifty. So if Envy plays like fifth through eighth, it like again? two more times. Right. If they did it over they'd and over again, four fifty. They'd be at four fifty. But the Envy's not gonna do that. You really banking on Envy, a team you picked? Babe, They're not gonna you do always, that. You always stand Envy. You think Envy's gonna fluke so so SR can make it? I don't think anybody's nah. gonna fluke. I'm just playing devil's advocate. No, no, no. <laughs> but actually, there's there's kind of a point here because it is top five teams, not top four. So maybe, but man. They would have to. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's out of it's out of hands. It's they tough. they they have a little room for error, and then also they have to hope other people mess up. So that's true. That's there's true. still a chance. I I wouldn't I wouldn't put a number on it, but it's not over. Yeah. Um. So they didn't get a spot, but there are some teams that did get a spot in that top slot, and these are the teams that we didn't see coming. V1, Xset, True Neutral. Smooth. You know, like thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we we have clips of all of them. Uh, version one obviously made top four. I'm repping the V1 sweater. Uh, this was they popped off. They, I, I'll just be honest. They popped off this weekend. Com did well. Torment did amazing. Gimmick did well as well. They struggled when they played against a team like NRG, but I, I liked how they played. Same thing for for X at True Neutral. But how are we feeling about these teams? I believe that they all had a nice run. <laughs> That's it. Dang. And, yeah. Dang. <laughs> all right, bro. All right. It's a fluke. <laughs> they had a nice run. I mean, I, 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 I see. To me, all I had to see was the series against NRG, and I'm like, you just don't belong here. <laughs> that, that, that's what I was thinking the whole entire time. And 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 that and that. And that's why I I believe in Shop, Shopify more. I, I Shopify could definitely put up a better fight against NRG if he wanted. And even even when Com is in a he pops the ball up high, spin, 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 then drops it back down, catch the reset into a quick quick little like mini musty. They still don't win that game. And you gotta do all that to score on these boys, and you still don't win that game, man. That's all I gotta see, man. That's all I gotta see. T T T T N T N looks the best out of all of them, in my opinion. I mean, uh, for me, V One, it, it was definitely a calm Tom duo. That's a that was the show. Gimmick look, he looked good during the group or during uh Swiss when he got to NRG. Gimmick was all over the place. I didn't see more from Gimmick. Um, shooting opportunities, they were just never there. It, it looked like V1 was playing not to lose against NRG rather than to win. They didn't, they weren't ever there in the midfield for scoring opportunities. But a top four finish, this is definitely something that you can go over replays. You made it to top four already, right? You say they can't compete with NRG, but you have replays now to fix your mistakes. It's easily correctable. You 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 watch the series, you know exactly how they're messing up every single time. TN. They definitely looked like a strong roster. I just, Shad was the only one to do anything, uh, in my opinion, against SSG. He, it was a lot of solo plays from Shad that was getting them the, the opportunities and the scoring opportunities. Um, I, th I just fear teams are going to adjust to them extremely like quick, and TN is going to slowly <laughs> like struggle. <laughs> what? Look at this new face, bro. What? What, what was he mad about? No, no, he just keep doing his lip bite, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, dang, he's he he was an he was analyzing the games. He 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 came with the <laughs> face was like, I'm not used to this. Not at all, not at it's all. Like, but yeah, yeah, this, <laughs> yeah, not at all, not at all. I've never. You're so wrong. But hey, you keep patting yourself on the back. Am I wrong? Continue on your diatribe. Oh, oh, just right, real quick. Right, I, guess, I guess I'm wrong. All right, all right. Except standout. Uh, J Pal was the standout player for this roster. Would love to see Hoxer find himself offensively. Um, because if Hoxer is feeling himself offensively, this Except roster is actually looking extremely strong. Um, but they shouldn't be too upset about their first performance. Um. Uh, unfortunate series against V1, but it is what it is. V1 was looking pretty good up until that energy series where they looked completely lost. But 
Yeah. Hey, I gotta hear from you after you did that lip bite, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm bro, sorry. Bro, you, bro, gotta, like... you gotta go, bro. What's up with you? Well, I was just listening to Raul point out individual players as if this is an individual player league. I don't, I don't understand that, first off. He, you of all people should know the Rocket League. When, just because what it looks like one person isn't doing something, they might be doing everything. You actually have to go back to the tape. I, and, and I was watching. Let, uh, the RLCS stream, okay? <laughs> like, what? Like, what? There, there was a time I, in the RLCS stream for all the Justin fanboys out there. I'm sorry I'm going to offend you all. But there's a time where Justin dropped 1,100 points, and he was the worst player in NRG that game. So, I mean, like, he's just camping that. I'm not looking at points, Bates. Like, I'm not I, talking about points. I'm not talking about points. I'm just saying there's sometimes, in particular, that some people don't look as good because they're not doing what they usually can do, and that's because a team like NRG takes away what gimmick brings to the table. He's their striker. He's their scorer. He's not going to get those opportunities. He's going to be, he's gonna have the 1v3 up front, maybe, and then he's got the backup. He has lack of boost. That's the type of stuff that happens. You got to really analyze that type of stuff. I'm not. It's going to be a rare occasion that I ever, that I ever praise one, in, one player in particular in a series. And so because it's just Rock League, such a team-oriented game, there's so many factors that are outside of your individual control. That's my first. That's my second. I, 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 I know, know, I know you. I know you're the biggest gimmick fan. I I'm, I, I, I'm, I know. Really I understand. I'm, you called him the best player in the world in a, a couple of years prior to this, but because he, because he was he, the best scorer in the world. You obviously didn't watch the the series. Did you watch the NRG series? I I, I did. It was like uh, taking candy from a baby. It was just way too easy for him. No matter what V one uh, yeah. did, it doesn't matter which which one it was. It doesn't really matter which one it was. It's just it was just a complete mismatch. I casted that series, by the way. That was my my first RLCS semifinals cast. Shout out to Babbern. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> bro, there's there's two people in here, right? We we're obviously swaying on the opposite sides of the. Yeah, uh, so I'll put in my perspective because I I sit and watch. I usually sit and watch overhead boost because we have the the feed that shows us uh, everybody's boost. So I just go on like overhead cam and look mm -hmm. at rotations and stuff like that. Um, I said it on the stream, even though Ro Roll this stream took it completely out of context. But I said Torment was playing amazingly well. I really did like how well like Torment looked over there. Uh, I think there was oh, you're for me. About one thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about that. Uh, for me, I think V1 felt it felt like they were trying to play this different. Everybody was like not in sync. No one was in sync. That was that was it yep. for me. Uh, everybody was trying to do different stuff. I saw Torment cutting off gimmick on some plays, but like Torment was feeling it, so I was like, okay, Torment's kind of feeling it, so like I get it. I don't care um, if it's doing it or not. Don't cut off gimmick. But like at the same time, it did feel like gimmick didn't have an impact. Like I don't know what was what was going on there. There was it was like a lot of times you look at some plays where gimmicks involved. Calm, uh, there was a defensive play where both him and Calm are on the back wall. They're like running in, and, like they're not running into each other, but they look really awkward. And I think that leads to a goal. And then there's another one where Gimmick just has like a free ball, and it's just like he's not really controlling or doing anything well with it. He just gives it like a little one touch, gives up possession. Things like that were things that I were was what I was noticing because when you play against like NRG, possession is very important. I think like NRG is a team that loves to have possession of the ball and they'd like to see what you were doing. And sometimes NRG would sit back and wait for V1 to push up because they knew that they could catch him on the counter because they were all playing at different speeds and stuff like that. For me, I, I can't put I, like they were so out of sync that I can't say it's just one person's fault because they were just all out of sync. So I don't I don't really know. But um I guess that kind of brings us into like our next topic too, which is version one. Uh, and yeah, I realize I'm wearing a, a V1 hoodie right now. But uh, the question is, <laughs> is version one a legitimate top eight team? That's, that's the question that's at the table. Top eight is kind of stacked right now. Looking at teams like True Neutral, Envy, G2, except the teams above, Ver I mean, version one placed above them in this regional uh, is sitting at that top four with FaZe, Clan, General, and our, uh, General NRG, Space Station Gaming. But there are other teams like Ghost, like Shopify Rebellion, who, uh, like Torrent even, who could True Neutral, easily, exit. Like, Rogue. Yeah, I said those. I said those. Wait, it, my but, bad. Yeah, I didn't say I didn't say rogue. I didn't say rogue though. But yeah, if rogue get their act together, true. So the question is, is this solidified? Is this a solidified top eight spot for them? I'm gonna go first. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's too I'll much. I'll join you. No, it's too much parity. It's too much parity in the top eight. They have to really like the way they played against NRG. If they want to be a legitimate top eight team, they can never ever play like that again. They just can't. 
I mean, they uh, could be a top eight team. It is all yeah, without, just avoid them and just avoid yeah, them. And then, but like the bracket would have to be very much in their favor. Every I just feel like time. the play style, that play style, the way they looked, how like uncomfortable they looked on the field. That's what I mean. I mean, you're an NRG stand, bro. NRG, what, top two, always top two. If they play against like, if they, if NRG exposes V1 like that, why can't they be a top eight team? That was the first time they played a legitimate like top six team, though. That's a top two team. Yeah, I'm saying any of the top six teams would have done that to him. But you, you oh, have that in that conversation, but V1... Wait. They, they, took, the, they took the series against Exit. Is so Exit v a top eight, the legitimate top eight team, yeah, You too? had them in that conversation. And when when, when the mean, was mean, mentioned in teams, you did say Exit. Yeah, like you... they're, yeah, they're in the conversation. V1's okay. in the conversation. We're talking about legitimate, like you're there. V1 also beat Shopify. Okay. They're beating teams that you guys are mentioning. Okay, so it's not to, about it's just about being legitimate, not about beating. I gotta see it again. Is, this is V1 Swiss run. Went five games against FaZe. They lost in game five by a goal. I think most of the series, wait, double checking. Most of the series is a one goal game except for game four where they lost by two goals. You go to Shopify, they end up sweeping them. Looking at that series, that was all one goal games, two overtimes in there. Then they go and play Team Envy, and then that went five games where they had a strong start, but it seemed like they get, they did get reverse swept by Team Envy afterwards. Uh, some games were close. Uh, the biggest parity is game one where V1 scored five goals to Envy zero. And then they played Rogue. They beat Rogue, and then they played uh, they beat Rogue 3-1, but Rogue looked off. And then they played against Torrent where they swept Torrent, but those were one-goal games except for game three where they won by two. That's how they got to play against Exit into the bracket was they had to go all of those games and then they won seven games against Exet, uh, which was a mainly kind of a close series. I'm not falling for the V1 trap again. I got to see it one more time. <laughs> all, one more I, time? All, I, all last I mean, season, I thought they had the potential and they never could uh, reach it. And so I just can't, I can't put too much stock into this. That's a couple of overtimes against uh, Shopify, go ball bounce the other way, you're out. That's a couple, not having to play Exet first round. You end up playing MV first round, you lose. Uh, you play GT first round, you lose. So I got, I gotta, I gotta see it one more time in order for me to say you're legitimate top eight. I think there's five in eight teams that are legit, and then I think there's a a round, uh, a general like pool of teams that are trying to fill in six through eight. And I, V one's in that conversation, but to say they're like guaranteed top eight, I can't go that far. Can't go that far. I think I think it's valid to have to see them do it again. Right? Yeah, I think that's that's extremely valid. So that part of your argument, I agree with. Um, but to say, yeah, I mean, a legitimate top eight, just to be devil's advocate, they can be a legitimate top eight. You definitely have to see it again. But yeah, yeah, that that's the way that. I'm looking right now. I think I'm more on the side of. Like, no, just because they've been together for so long. And they should have I've already had this stuff figured Facts. out. Facts. Like, opinion. I feel like it should be easy for them. They should, uh, they should have had this stuff figured out. That's just my opinion. I'm being hard on them because they have a lot of potential. And this is a format that does not say, you know, it doesn't it doesn't give you a lot. You know, you got to earn it. So they got to earn it. They're, they're in a good spot, though, right now. Top four. Right? They have a couple hundred points. They're kind of, they are the opposite of Shopify Rebellion. They are controlling everything for their chance to potentially go to Sweden. So we got to, you know, we'll keep tabs on you, V1, and we'll see exactly what happens in the next North American Open Regional event. I don't know what they're going to call it. Uh, <laughs> moving on to that, the North American Open, we're going to swap right into that and uh, just take a look at the brackets. We'll, you know, go... Go through all those matchups there. Of course, Space Station Gaming is starting off hot. Or the oh wait, the, okay, Space Station Gaming starting off in those quarterfinal matches did really well. Phase Clan and Envy, that one was a crazy one. Uh, V1 X at NRG G2, uh, the, definitely the V1 series was wild to watch uh, in that first start. But I mean, how did how did we feel about you know the quarterfinals, or even the bracket in general? It was it was cool. We had a, a an unfortunate series happen in there, but uh, NRGG two had a great series that they played in particular. I think five overtime something like that. I don't, I don't know exactly. Mm. Might have been all six. Don't know. But um, 
they had a lot of overtimes there. G2, Chicago has the audacity to ping me yesterday on Twitter saying he was shooting well. And uh, yeah, if, if, if I actually pull up the series that mattered, the NRG versus G2 series, th there's no shooting well on that series. So oh, no. yeah, so uh, don't ping me again unless you're going to bring up the series that actually mattered. I don't care about your tap ins against so-and-so uh, bubble team. That means absolutely nothing. I want to see it about the mm. shooting percentage when it matters most there. Dang. G2 Chicago. But with that with that being said, uh, probably, they had a couple of nice series there, and in particular, and me and Raul were right in picking FaZe to win, and somebody else was wrong here in Dazrin picking you know, G2 to win. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can't win them all. Oh, goodness. I understand that. I understand that you, you can't win them all. And sometimes, you know, you, you got to take your losses. And I mean, it's cool. You know, the general NRG, I'm going to be honest, they were looking good. And then they got into that final and things got really crazy. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and they, all, had, they all, took a couple L's. Yeah, oh, yeah, there was a lot of L's. Uh, and all I know is there was some Merc flip resets going on. And I think at that point, I was, it, it was a lot. I was, I was, I had a lot of copium going on in me. I remember I was a roll this chat, like, he's not trolling, it's fine. Like, he'll, he's gonna make the Merc work. I was hoping, I was really hoping, but. Yeah, he, he started, he started nice with that thing too. He, you know, he was a little cool, he was a little he nice was with little it. nice with it. But I don't know how I'm gonna feel if I see Justin pull up into the next event with a Merc on. I might, <laughs> I, I'm gonna don't be worry. on that. He switched <laughs> off the Merc not too long being on the stream. Okay, yeah. okay, that's good, that's good. But you know, I took an L. I didn't yep. just take an L alone. Another team took an L as well. And that's the machine. Machine <laughs> out early to phase who end up winning the tournament. They do win the tournament, so you got that, but they, they end up losing in that base. What happened with the machine? Nothing happened. It was, it, was just, it, was just, it was just unfortunate. I mean, a couple, couple of luck. Look at that. AJ over the top. I mean, did you see this play? I mean, I want to give FaZe credit, but also want to just say that they, they got a little fortunate. You see this pass alone. This is 2-0 Envy, by the way. This would have been 2-0 series bumped. set. He got bumped into the pass. And they're like, ah, it's just, <laughs> just unfortunate. It's nothing, nothing, nothing the machine can do there. Let's watch this one. All right. There's a high, a little bit of a... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa! Are you serious? Anybody see that safe? I know y'all saw that. That's actually <laughs> just the luckiest thing I've ever seen. AJ, oh. you got a double fake on the machine. That won't happen every single time. Congratulations, you got the clip though. All right, let's see what's happening on this play. Oh yeah, Nick, by what? Look at AJ on the back wall. Look at that safe! Like, what is that recovery? That won't happen again. We know that for sure. Oh gosh. All right, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it. Oh, nice high ball. Look, look at the double fit. They're just flopping and whopping. Like, oh well, my goodness. And this, this, oh, when you need him, he's there. Costello top right. What? No, he's not missing out again. We all know that for sure. And that's, that's for sure straight butter. Oh, and look at Tom go fitting. How many times I say Tom go fitting? One of the best in the world. He's missing easy doubles. Easy doubles. Hey, should have been out the game. And look at this. Watch this happen. Over the mid, over the midfield. Another double commit save. Eh, I, I guess I'm not as lucky in this. This is the, this is the epitome of everything. When I saw this coming out my midterm, I said, okay. If that's what it takes to beat the machine, look, look at Costello. Look at Nick. He's just rubbing his eye like, whoa. And then see that one coming. <laughs> like, nobody saw that one coming. Confir FK, I'll give it to you. You're top three in the world, brother. But <laughs> I don't know if you're going to hit that again on the machine, so. Oh, my gosh. In my opinion, the best series of the weekend was it was FaZe. I went back and watched it after I took my test. It was FaZe versus Envy. I might be biased. I did pick FaZe to win this event. I do believe they, had, they were coming in hot. They have, a, they have a lot of skill. I, if you watch basketball, I would say that AJ is the equivalent to a Kyrie Irving. And then FK is like LeBron. <laughs> and so, like, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking wow. about the Cavaliers. When LeBron, <laughs> when, when I'm talking about the LeBron went to the Cavs and joined Kyrie. So, they're, they're going to be competing for a championship. But the machine, they're like a Golden State. Some big and, names there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and sometimes... Some unfortunate events happen, but I'm not worried about the machine. I, I didn't even pick them to win this event, and even with me not picking them, it still looked like the best team in the event, in my opinion. They gave FaZe their hardest run the whole entire time, and I thought FaZe was going to be the best team in, in the event. So I'm not worried about the machine. I don't think there's much to go into it, not much stock. Wow. Nah, I think there was a, that was a pretty intense series, pretty mm -hmm. back and forth. Uh, game seven happens. You know whose field it was, right? It's a terrible field. Kind of expect Envy to take that every time. Envy goes up 2-0 in the game, I believe, mm. and ends up tossing. They Talk. weren't up 2-0. 
It was 2-1, 2-0, something. I think it was 2-1. They were within the first 14 seconds of the game, and then they kept uh, – right, Did you see that? Did you see that save in that same game? Back. You what saw the air dribble miss that? You saw AJ flop, flop, flop all the way to the top, and he had three touches on him. <laughs> three touches in one move. And, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, wow. AJ, if he's saving that. I mean, if FK's hitting negative ankle shots from the, literally nowhere, somebody tweeted over the weekend, they're freestyling free play, and that's the type of shots they were hitting. Like, you understand the, the chance of him hitting that again? I, they were doing it the whole tourney. Dude. I don't want to hear all that. No, no, they, he ain't hit that shot again. He did not hit that NBA shot again. I don't want to hear that. Round in the quarters, they proceeded to do the same thing against SSG. No, the only thing they proceeded, they proceeded to do was, to was do keep the double quick. They proceeded to do the same quick. thing against NRG. Okay, well, they were just better than NRG. Over no, 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 no. They, they had to play a great series in order to beat the machine. I give it to them. I tip my beanie. They had to play a great series. I tip my beanie to them. NRG. Are you gonna discredit two other teams that they beat to make to 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 actually win the tourney? No, yeah, they had they had a solid series against those two teams, but but in particular, they had their best series against Envy, and that's the series that they need to have the best series that in order to win. Oh, which I respect. I, I respect that. I mean, it is what it is. They and we're gonna get into phase a little bit in a second, but I mean, I'm not worried about the machine losing that. It's fine. Looks solid. Wow. I mean, a lot, of, it, a lot of copium going on right now. Yeah, that's, that is an extreme amount of copium. I, honestly, I would say SSG was probably a little step closer to beating FaZe than Envy was, in my opinion. SSG looked typical. Sipical's looking top three in NA right now. Sipical's on point. If Arsenal got a bump or two on FaZe, something Envy really wasn't doing. I, I, th- I, I don't see, think, I I see, I don't think the machine that. needs bumps in order to score. But well, apparently they, do they do because you're giving th- this excuse that AJ's triple pre-jumping. The whole team is triple pre-jumping to get saves. Uh, what, what happens if they just keep getting saves? You just gonna keep pointing it out? Oh my goodness, they keep double, they keep double committing pre-jumping. This is so lucky. Ne- next regional comes along, they do the same <laughs> thing, and you're gonna be. Like, they're doing it again. The pre-jump saves. Baze, at some point, you just got to delete AJ. You got to delete first killer. And, and, guess, and guess who's good at that? Rettles. <laughs> guess who's good at that? Arsenal. <laughs> and even Sipical's starting to become a bumper himself. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Chat, I'm oh, back. Gosh. Chat, I'm back. Sorry, I had to leave for, I had to leave for a little bit. There's a dude called Roll Dis. He was kind of yelling at my microphone. I had to leave for a second, but I'm back now. I'm, I'm back now. Every time. Like, I'm, ba- I'm, I'm back now. And, uh, I'm back now. I believe, I believe he was now. talking. I, I could hear him all the way from my kitchen. I believe he was talking about SSG being a, having a, being a, more of a threat to phase over the past weekend and all this hoopla and nonsense and talking about how SSG doing okay. what they usually do still couldn't beat phase. And Envy doing exactly what But then what they Envy do. playing solid, and then FaZe getting a little bit fortunate with the double commits and all that nonsense. Barely beat them. So I, I'm a little confused by that. I, be, I will say SSG played uh, okay, but that's about as far as I'm going. Um, okay. And the machine versus FaZe is definitely best series. All right. Both all series right. Went, to, went to seven, by the way. Both series went to seven. Um, that, that being said, uh, yeah, FaZe end up, I mean, they beat it. They beat everybody. They beat Envy. They beat SSG. They beat the general NRG. And they, they end up taking this first regional. And for me, uh, I I mean, they look good. They, they look good. They look good. I'll give, I'll give them the props. I'll give them props. Phase Killer looking like a, a really strong team. Um, some people are already throwing out the, the copium saying that uh, they're honeymooning. <laughs> so there's there's that that's getting tossed around right now. Uh, what else? I I liked my my favorite. Well, I like the Envy series and I like the SSG series. I really thought SSG could have won that. Uh, I was talking to a uh, Roldis has said it. Chrome has them downloaded. I talked to Chrome and I was like, it looked like y'all had them downloaded. Chrome said we did have them downloaded. We just couldn't dodge the demos. Uh, so that's a terrible impression, Chrome. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> But uh, yeah, it, that that was it, it was it's unfortunate. But I think you know that that top those the the top four that you know everybody thinks of initially: Envy, uh, Phase, NRG, SSG. They all look really good, and they all kind of showed that throughout the regional. But I mean, I'm gonna give Raul the floor here because you know Phase is his team. Phase Killer is his team. <laughs> Tell me how you felt about Phase winning that in the open. Um. 
honestly, they keep those pre-jump saves consistent, they're going to look like a top two team every time. I T-Bay's going to call it a fluke. They did it the whole tournament. Alu is their biggest question mark. And I'm going to say this as a question mark because if Alu is confident, FaZe looks dangerous. Now, if Alu has some worrisome about his own gameplay, then FaZe starts to slack off in the series. Um, especially in the finals, the finals was like, it was, it was Alu. Like <laughs> if Alu was playing well, AJ was consistent the whole tourney, uh, the whole top eight bracket. First killer, as much as I love the kid, I'm a first killer stand. Everybody knows this. He did not play well in the finals. Um, Alu was That's that guy. That's impossible. Alu was that guy. How is that impossible? You he really think that FaZe are going to be NRG of first killers playing bad? He wasn't playing well. You you don't watch the game. Bates, tell me you watched the series and tell me first killer was playing extremely well, bro. First killer was playing like first killer? Like first killer normally plays against everybody else? Like the best of the best? Sure. Yeah, no. yeah like like a number one top is dog, he, like top two. Is he still playing top five in the world? Yeah. I mean, bruh. It's his presence alone. What are you talking about? That's like saying if Steph doesn't come in and drop 45. Okay, Steph had 20. He's still out there. He, Steph, Steph's presence alone makes you extend the defense. Ronaldo out there on the pitch makes you come out further than you normally would. Or you got to back off and, and have a... Um, Change your formation up. Like, like, what are you talking about? Some more defensive formation. What do you mean? I, uh, that's just so blasphemous. That's so bad. It's so bad how you can say on stream at first killer, then it play uh, good. And they beat NRG. But first killer did not play like first killer in that series. Okay. It, he, he didn't play like know. arguably the best player in the world. But, hey, he's still top five, though. Okay. And is that and saying top... anything? Sure. It is saying something if you want to consider first killer top oh, five in that series. You guys are messing, oh, yeah. making I mean, Buster bark. I mean, I mean, I mean, I hope he's top five in that series because there was there was six players. I'm talking on the about field, top five right? in the world. <laughs> okay, top five in the world. Uh, my my point being, Alu is their question mark. Alu's playing confident. Phase is gonna look like that. Hey, Buster. Like, like like they did. If Alu's not playing him. confident, then it's gonna be a little struggle from Phase. That's all I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta. I'll be right back. I gotta make sure my dog's okay. It's okay. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we, we, can, we can keep arguing. We can keep arguing. We, we, we keep talking. We keep talking about. <laughs> uh, I mean, this interesting. Uh, I, uh, I don't. Okay. I don't understand how you're saying that, but I do gotta give my props to Alu. Oh yeah, he's he's the K Love of the team. But um, <laughs> shout out Buster. But yeah, and then I also do. I also can contribute Fade playing better against NRG because of a little bit of um. Not necessarily on the pitch, but on the pitch drama that occurred, <laughs> which is very funny to me. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I think we need to talk about that because you know what? I felt like that was potentially series impacting drama that makes me want to write this series off. Oh. Of course, you glasses. do. Doesn't mean business. That's right. Phase versus NRG got a little heated. Of course, if you got a cell phone or well, maybe no, I'm gonna say cell phone, but if you were on the tw the, the, the Twitter, the internet. It was a lot of words being exchanged back and forth after a pause during game two of the first series. And we, you know, we're not going to get into the specifics. It's out there. If you want to look at it, it's out there. So, boom. But for those who know what we're talking about, I was upset. I was upset. There was a lot, a lot of words being spoken, and there were some lines that were being crossed. And ultimately, I think it, that did have a change in the series. Later on in the series, Justin ends up swapping to a Merc and ends up playing the rest of the finals in a Merc. Um, I just want to, I just want to get your thoughts on 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 some of this before I get my take, because you know me, I'll, I'll go on a soliloquy right now. So I would me... love to hear your soliloquy within a reasonable amount of time. A reasonable amount of time? Okay. Yeah. Let's to, give you a I'll... minute. Go ahead. So during this. You know, there is definitely it's a, it's definitely understandable to throw, you know, to say little stuff here and there in, in a right realm, right? Little competition banter, I'm better than you, woo woo woo, stuff like that. That's fine. I think everybody understands that. It makes the series more interesting. It definitely made that series more exciting. But again, and everybody knows what I'm talking about. There's a line that got crossed, there got things that got taken a little too seriously and moved a little bit too far. And for these people 
especially those who are involved, who have been in the scene for a long time, who are professionals, they've already witnessed stuff like this and they've witnessed even worse scenes like this. They should know better in terms of doing that. So in ter- like that's kind of where I, that's usually like where my big stance is. It had an impact and there were some things that were definitely immature that ended up happening over the internet and even in the game, in my opinion. Uh, and I think that this was a situation that got, got a little out of control. I, I, with the, that being said, afterwards, everybody kind of said what they needed to say, cleared the air, and I'm glad that that happened. That shows a lot of professionalism. But that means, but again, some of that stuff shouldn't have even happened in the first place. So that's that's my that's my small little rant on it. Interesting. Nice, good points by the Babber and Raul. What's good, bro? You can go now. What are your what are your what are your opinions on it? My thoughts. Uh... Definitely makes the game more interesting. You know, you have uh, a good rivalry brewing up. I like it. I like it personally. Of course, some cr- lines were crossed and um, players, professionals should know better. They probably know better by now. But um, regardless of that, the, the, the rivalry that's about to be happening, FaZe, NRG, Squishy, First Killer, we, hey, we name drop in here. You, if you saw it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, this is this is. I I feel like the scene needs this. Like the the scene needs a rivalry. The scene needs some some extra content going into every single game. Like just imagine the amount of excitement a team has. Like like fan bases clashing with each other. It just makes everything so much more. It, it's just better entertainment, right. honestly. So. I, I like it. I like the way it's going. You got first killer Justin. That that's a, a good um storyline in itself. But the the storyline isn't even between first killer and Justin, two players that most people consider top two in the region, right? Um, it's against Squishy, who has one of the biggest fan bases in Rocket League, versus first killer, who's the young prodigy. So I hey, I'm 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 with it. Uh, apparently, like first killer's already tweeted out that they've made up, so I'm not sure how far this is going to go anymore, but if it does continue, I, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. What's good, teammates? What's your Right, opinion? right, 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 right. So you got Papa the Babbard who had to settle, has bring the somber note to it. Obviously, some lines were crossed. We don't like to see that. We, we don't uh, commend that and that type of stuff that we have to minimize to the best of our ability and the players especially as well, knowing what uh, that imaginary line and and that threshold and never um, overstepping their bounds. With that being said, it was amazing. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. It was amazing to see. And the, the, ooh, <laughs> this is what the RLC needs. Look, I'm gonna address one point that Raul touched on. First killer, I don't wanna see that tweet. I don't wanna see it. I don't need to see the apology. I don't need to see it. Because some, some people, they might want to see it, but see, that's just take away from the drama. I, we want to see the drama. We want to see FaZe versus NRG. I want to see, I want to know who's the best. Justin, I want to tweet out. I'm hopping on the Merc. Man, what's that going to do? You, you scared of first killer? You acknowledge that first killer better than you, so you trying to make excuses now? Oh, now you're going to hop on the Merc? Oh, we're not trying anymore. No, I don't want to see that either. No, I'm trying to see who the best. I want to know who better. Justin, first killer. I want to know who better. FaZe, NRG. I want to have the heat when we show up the majors. I want to see y'all looking across the, across the, across y'all screens at each other saying, yo, I'm here. I'm that dude. And you're going to feel me. I love to see that. Everybody don't have to be buddy, buddy. You can be friends. You can, you, you can be friends. You can respect one another. Like the great, the Mina, the Mina players, uh, I'm going to post a tweet. They all in there talking to each other. You can respect them. You be your friends. But when it comes down, when we on the opposite side, when you load up blue and I load up orange, we know we're friends. We're frenemies. I'm coming for you every single time I'm on the field. If I can get on your skin a little bit, if I get on your skin just a tad bit, as long as you respect me, just to mess with your mental, test your mental a little bit, see if you're mentally strong, I'm going to do it. And that's what I, and that's what the scene needs. Just a little, just a little, just a little bit of parody. Whoa! It felt good to it. Add a little bit of spice. Add a little bit of spice to that last set, and really, really the second to last set too. Okay, it felt like there's more, there's more stakes on it. It wasn't the casters making making the storylines. It wasn't the org making the storylines. It was the players. And that's something that the RLC needs. So, hey, personally, for me speaking, I, I really, I really appreciate it. Appreciate it up to the extent. As the Barber said, there's some lines crossed that definitely shouldn't have been crossed been addressed and i don't think that'll ever happen again but in terms of just being in my sense quote unquote petty in a way 
<laughs> that might come here. I'm all for that. And it's just, oh, it felt good. It felt good. And if I finally felt like there was something, there's a little bit of animosity, a little bit of, I really want to beat you. And uh, it's good to see. Cause fans can feel that. Fans can feel that. Mm-hmm. Especially when they can see it too, when you're tweeting about it. So <laughs> it was nice. Uh, we know Bass is from Louisiana too. He needs all that spice. That's right. That spice. That's right. I need all that action. I'm about that action. <laughs> I'm about to action, me personally speaking. I, I want to see it. I want to see that. Uh, that's just that just adds so much more to the product, in my in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed seeing it, and it's gonna. It's uh, people are already gonna think about it when the phase NRG play again. What's gonna happen? You're like you're. That's already in the back of your psyche if you really watch Rock League. It's already there. Dude. Like I know EU's happening. I mean, I'm thinking about EU, but they ain't got no storylines. So I, I'm sorry. Right, I'm already thinking about NA. I'm already thinking about phase NRG when they play again. What's happening? What's going What's on? <laughs> oh, I already want to see it. <laughs> oh, so, so that's what I'm saying. That's just me, though. But yeah. I feel like I'm going to have to lean into this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here, like, trying to keep the timeline in order. I'm not going to lie, though. When, when all that stuff was happening, I was like, oh, wait, this is this is different. This is personal. Mm-hmm. That series was personal. And that was really fun to watch. I'm not going to lie. And I think that, you know, you have a point. I just need everybody to do it in the in the right way. Do it in the right way. That's just my opinion. Uh, but no, Bates, Bates is Bates is on. That, that that made everything like so much more fun to watch in terms of that grand final. It was super dope. But I think also, if you disagree with our take or T Bates take, at least it's in our next topic where you can debate with T Bates. This is getting good at that. This is getting good. <laughs> 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 good with that. If you use the hashtag DBase or TBase, but I mean, base, this is your thing. I gotta let you talk about it, bro. Talk All about right, it. So basically, what happens, folks? For those of y'all who don't know, y'all know I have a lot of opinions on this show in particular, and I'm always like the I'm loud. I, I like to express my opinion about something. Some things I'm really passionate about. I'm passionate about Rocket League, and if you're passionate about Rocket League too, you have the opportunity for me to potentially take what you say on Twitter, and you can debate with me. If you have a good point, you can see what happens. So basically, all you have to do is use that hashtag debate with TBase. Put that on Twitter every single week. With your most outlandish, no, no, actually, let me, let me, let me stop that. Maybe the most not, not outlandish. It has to be something that's solid and something that's going to intrigue me. And you might just see your tweet on the being tweeted out by the RO Esports Twitter handle and getting shouted out by me personally. So, yeah, if you really want to debate with me, you have the opportunity. And all you have to do is hop on the internet if you have Twitter, some form, and just tweet out a tweet with a hashtag, and there you go. That's right. Use the hashtag debates with T-Bates if you guys want to be featured on debates with T-Bates. Let him know your hot takes for sure. Uh, and, you know, this, the next tweet I'm going to show on screen also should use the hashtag debates with T-Bates. We're going to move on to the European Open preview because the European Open is coming up next week. And there were a lot of things that ended up happening over the course of that. Before we get into the roster moves, let's just kind of show, I need to show this specific tweet from Guild where Guild gave us a nice little wave because we didn't feature them in our top eight worlds teams. Yeah, can we please go and show the top 16 uh, teams in the European Open now? And I just want everybody, no, don't look at the top. We know BDS there. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, there, there's Guild. There. <laughs> Uh, Guild is facing BDS in the first round. Yeah, so if you guys want to know, Guild almost didn't qualify. They actually got really lucky because FC Barcelona, who was up two goals, threw in the last minute. Uh, Don't otherwise... say the last minute. They threw in the last 20 seconds. They th- in the last 20 seconds. It's even worse. <laughs> and, and so, Guild, hi. Just next time use hashtag debates with T-Bates, please, because uh, I would love for, for Bates to be able to answer that hot take of you in the top eight world spot right now because right now you're barely speaking by <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> let's talk about the eu open guild is there and so so are a bunch of other teams and uh first things first we gotta hit on europe we don't have a lot of time uh, actually we got we got some time we got some time uh we want to talk about our top roster moves we did it for north america we're gonna do it for europe before we jump in but just to talk about the eu off season for a little bit we're gonna do it uh, for the minor region it's okay yeah don't yeah. worry we don't forget about y'all we always try to make it fair there you go. See, try to make it, try to make it fair. Try to make it fair. Uh, so let's see. Uh, my, well, actually, do we have. It's, it's 
so stupid. He's petty. He's petty. He's, petty. He's so petty. He's so petty. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Do I go first? I think you go first. Yeah, go, go first. first. Go you first. go first. My top roster move was Cash. Cash was my top roster Shout move. Shout out Cash. Uh, he played on Monkeys. He ends up leaving Rick's GG, who didn't qualify for this. They end up picking up speed in place of him, and they did not do well into uh, the qualifiers. And now Cash is playing on Monkeys, and they did absolutely fantastic. They ended up breezing through, placing in the top three to five spot, and going into the main event, CD sitting at fourth seed. Matane, Cash, and Arju all look really strong. So Cash is my top roster move. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, uh, okay, Raul. I always rate Cash highly, so yeah, I appreciate. It. I, I like that pick. I like that pick. Uh, mine is a little team that a lot of people have high hopes for, and myself included. And that's Astro on Carmine Corp. Now it's not only Astro on this team. I I rate, but Astro is the top dog on this team. I I seen a bunch of European. You know, casters, commentators, and, and people who dive into That's their own thing. region say that Astro could be the best player in the world, potentially. <laughs> Look at this um, shot. Uh, well, I don't know. That back four defense is kind of suspect. Um, I got to hit the ball, please. It um, is what it is. But uh, <laughs> yeah, if, you leave, if you leave that like that to Astro, he's going to slot that every time. And you can't even forget about his two How is this it? That's just a... That's just a recipe for success, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I, I respect Cash. 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 I respect him a lot. Cash, once again, amazing as well. But there's one guy in particular who I think is it's a really big move this offseason. I think it's the most important move in the Euro European region. And I understand that he just got scored on that clip. But you didn't see him. <laughs> you didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I got set up right there. <laughs> I got set up. Okay, got 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 <laughs> got a, got a cash. I clip a dog clip he was doing at all. Take a cash go. That's top Look left. In your net. That's beautiful. Air roll, uh, air roll shot. But okay. now, here comes my guy. Uh -oh. My guy in particular. Look at him go. Slot. Easy net. He doesn't miss those. And that's a world champion. Former world champion MVP and scrub killer himself. And I think that that is the most important move in European region this season. That I do believe that these three clips, I mean, three these three players were the three biggest awesome moves. I think we did an excellent job in picking these out. But and that being said, I'm have SK a little bit higher than the other two because I believe that 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 alongside with the uh, Ascension, with Jor Jorus in particular, and then uh, obviously Abjax always on his grind, always working on his craft. I think they're going to be a really solid team. And I have I have them obviously above Carmine, considering I have um. I had Dignitas making top eight worlds and Carmine not. Mm -hmm. I gotta see. I gotta see from Astro. I gotta see from Astro. I, I mm. think we all see the talent. Yeah. I think that's very apparent. Um, I hear some good things about uh, his teamwork and stuff like that. But um, you, you just gotta do it while being on that Dignitas roster where you had a really solid little run, and all of a sudden you falling off. You had you got he got his own team last fall. Didn't work out for him that whole entire season basically, up until the end, and they started popping off a little bit. But other than that, there's nobody found. So I'm about to see it before I can say that Carmine's a legit, legitimate team and they're always going to be consistent, but I got SK. Okay. Now, like you said, you can see all the talent that are on the field with all those players. And of course, they all make the regional. So congrats to them. But something we didn't see were some just other teams straight up. FC Barcelona, we didn't see uh, make it. Uh, and this brings us to our, our subtopic of who is missing. No FC Barcelona, no Team Liquid, no Ricks.gg. And there were definitely many, many more teams. I don't think BS, is BS Plus in there? Nope. Did they end up? No. Oh, they didn't make it. BS, play missed. BS Plus made it. Uh, wait, no. No, they didn't. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, wait, I have these, I have these flips. Yeah, you're right. They didn't make it. No BS+. Plus. Uh, and it's funny, too, because FC Barcelona, they dropped Tigre. Remember, that was former White Demons. Uh, they dropped Tigre, and Tigre ended up going to Fade Away. And Fade Away is now also in. They made it in through the closed qualifier. So things are shaking up, and things are getting a bit spicy in Europe. Uh, are there any surprises for, for some of these teams that you guys don't see in here? For me, it's only. For me, it's only the team that was 
hyped up to to have such a great fantastic roster move and it's one of the biggest orgs that is actually in the scene that's team liquid but, yeah i'm with uh, him you know wait, what's happening i'm with you oh uh, yeah you, you add flakes who hasn't been in the league in over not a, a believer year, i feel like a year not a believer me t Bates. you can quote me you can put it on stream i really don't care you can tweet at me i just don't understand the move i don't even understand how he, he's even justified to be on the team continue wrong <laughs> Oh my god. He hasn't been on the field in like a year. T oh is not god. a believer in this move. Uh, you add a chronic who was spectacular last season, showed a lot of upside. Um, not sure what happened there. If he was able to do anything, if he has enablers, and you have Ronicky, who statistically speaking is one of the best shooters in Europe, but again, they didn't make it. So, what does that even justify you know like you have a young gun who's extremely talented mechanically and has a lot of upside one of the statistically one of the best shooters in europe and flakes who a uh, dribbler yeah dribbler who swaps a bunch of cars and no holding flakes he, he was good he, he was he's good. not bad he was yeah, good, he was good when he was in the league when he was in the league in my opinion, then he decided to make his own team wherever. I don't know all the specifics about that, but I don't understand how you take the break that he did and you end up on liquid. I, I think it's the fact that he's on liquid that bothers me. <laughs> that bothers me because, like, it's just when you think of liquid, as we're always saying, you're thinking, because we, we, I've already been disappointed already a whole entire year because they weren't like good. Mm -hmm. So now, like, especially after off season, you expect them to make the, every single right move because they're liquid yep. and have that cachet in order to make be able to make that move that most orcs can't make mm -hmm. and so now and now when you're talking about the top eight eu liquid could be in that conversation I, I i i do think that they have the talent to do it and maybe flakes has improved dr drastically or something along those lines but i don't know that trial process but i i do wish that uh liquid had made it in particular that's that's my big one yeah yeah i think uh and there's yeah that's true but they got uh, lucky yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, only, no, bro. Clutch yeah. up. <laughs> clutch up. Good clutch. Good clutch. Good clutch. Yeah. Fair, yeah. Guild and, and Liquid definitely looking a little rough right now. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And that's one of those things where, like, you think of, like, the talent, at least, like, even with, like, people questioning Flakes and his position on the team, you have Ronicky and a Chronic on the same team. Like, that should be a team that does some type of damage, at least qualifying. No, so, they're, 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 Ronicky Cole, man, and I mean, right. Chronic, I, I mean, I only have to speak about Chronic. I mean, that's just so that's just really, <laughs> really odd to see for Liquid because you know they do this big roster change, and then this is what happens. They have a start right. similar to similar to last season, where right. their start was just not it does nothing for them. They have no points. So, uh, but yeah, that's that's definitely the the teams missing. But let's talk about the teams that are in the regional right now. We have the European Open starting this weekend and friday you know, exactly friday and we we want to talk about our favorites to win uh coach we can roll the clips uh obviously you know team bds looking like they're in one seed right now they look good every mark is at the facility but is this your guys's favorites to win at all this open the open the open yes not not like everything just open. okay raul to win this open, oh, you know, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. My favorites to win this open is a team that destroyed them to end the last season oh. off, and that is uh -oh. Vitality. Uh oh, I have Vitality going and winning the first European open. Go ahead, base. What's your pick? You got Vitality, huh? Mm. Uh, let me think. Let me think okay, for a little while, bit. While you think, I'm going to go ahead and put on my Mickey Mouse ears because I'm going BDS all the way. Oh, no. I think I think BDS are going to do it. See, remember, when I made my list, my, my hypothetical scenario is that BDS wins the regionals and they get their points from the regionals, but their Vitality shows up at the majors and then they get those points okay. based on that from the majors i think it's going to be a constant battle between bds vitality 
I'll even throw Carmine Corp in there and Vodafone Giants. But you know what? Because I like bass, I slide in Dignitas. But only because I like bass. Not because I believe the team. It's just because I like bass. Um, I think that that'll be kind of like that that interchangeable section, KC, Vodafone, Dig. But for me, uh, yeah, I'm I'm just going to go straight out and say it. I got BDS winning this. Interesting. For those who follow me on Twitter, you know that I was correct last week with the face pick. I tweeted out, letting y'all, letting y'all know the base is never wrong. And once again, I'm not going to be wrong again because I wouldn't pick the correct team here. The team that's going to win the, Euro- the European Open will be Dignitas. It will, it will, it will, it will, it will be Dignitas. Let me tell you why. Ooh, them boys hungry. They, have, they probably have, in my opinion, the most balanced mechanically, mechanical team out of any of these European teams right now. And I think they're just well-rounded all around. I think that EU also is the best that has ever been. And let me tell you that as well. I think Semper's good. Hot. I think Dignitas are good. I think BDS is good. I think that Vitality are good. I think Monkeys are good. So, yeah. Team Queso is still good. They are still on the Team Queso, right? No, oh. they're, they're Giants. They, yeah. Giants? There is yeah. a Team Queso in there. but Yeah, Giants. Also, Giants are good. Too. Giants are good. So I, I, think, I think those six teams in particular have a chance at always competing and being relevant. More so than last year, I don't think BDS is going to be able to walk over everybody. And I just believe there's, there's a world where BDS has to play like monkeys and then they lose, which clears out the way for Dignitas. And here comes Dignitas all the way to the top. Now, if Dignitas has to play BDS, I don't know. But I'm going on this rant. I'm going on a specific route in my head that they somehow get mm. to avoid them. And then, oh, I forgot about Carmine. Carmine up there too. There's seven teams. But uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going Dignitas when this first European Open. You, you catch me between on Sunday. All three different picks. I like it. I like it. Three I different just, picks. Uh, I just don't see Dig. That's good. Don't let me down, boy. Don't let me down. <laughs> oh, I don't Jack. see them winning that. Out, Jack. Drew anyway. Rose. They, uh, they got 3 1 by Williams Resolve. They started off slow. That was the third match of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Take them a little while to warm up. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> you know, I'm really excited about this regional because yeah, this is so definitely going to be one to pay attention to. I'll be off that weekend. I'm gonna go hang out and roll this for a little bit. But... Yeah, to let y'all know he won't be here on. You won't be hearing his beautiful voice on stream, guys. Sorry. Yeah, I won't be. Won't be doing that. Uh, that's my. That's my weekend off. But I will. You know, I'll obviously be keeping eyes, and I'll be having the Twitter fingers, especially uh, if Dig and Vitality are not doing well. Because that'll make me very happy. Even though, like, uh, you know, Vitality's my my high pick. I got it. I don't know. I just I'm just on the BDS hype train right now. It's, that's just how I'm feeling. But that being said, we will find out. Like we said, this weekend action starts Friday. Same as the North American Open. You got your team streams, and then on Saturday quarters, Sunday semis and grands. And A-Pac you guys North. know the format, right? APAC North. Sub-Saharan Africa and South America as well are happening this weekend. Lots of Rocket League. If they happen at the same time, you'll see the squad stream, but make sure you follow all of those channels just so you are up to date because we're going to talk about it next week. The race to Sweden continues. Action don't stop. Everybody's grinding. So make sure you guys are up to date, especially those who be on Reddit writing those paragraphs. So that being said, gentlemen, chat, that's all we got for First Touch today as we end up covering all of the hot topics. Guys, how we feel about today? I like it. it went, I think it was, pretty, it was pretty smooth. A lot of topics, a lot of controversy, and um, obviously excited for this weekend to see that Vitality is going to take the region, the minor region. But, but yeah, base. Europe, give me some content like NA did. Please, 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 please. Hit this man so much better. Make something up. Be there. Make something, be, up. Make something be, be, up. Be the be, be the theatrical. Make we make it seem Noli make it stream. seem like y'all like y'all have a lot of beef. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's what we should have did. We should have had Noli on the stream, especially beef. after like doing. A, you said it do. No, they yeah, do all of them beef. don't like Noli. They, they don't, don't like Noli. Noli. Yeah, bro, Europe don't like each other. They, bro, yeah, but we never know make that. Make it known. Make it public. Make it public. Help. Help! Hey. No, 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 not real help. Not real help. I'm good. 
<laughs> guys, that's going to be it for us on First Touch today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. On behalf of Buster, myself, Roll This, and T-Bates, we will be back next Tuesday to talk about the European Open and, of course, all the hot topics that happen throughout the week. Stay locked in the Rocket League, and everybody have a good rest of your day. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.